The Spong Yong Manau Poi is an annual festival of Singpo tribe or Kachin people living both in India and Myanmar. The Singpo people they primarily live in Ornachal Pradesh and Assam state in the northeastern region of India and in Myanmar they live in the Kachin state and in some neighboring areas. The Spongyong festival it is also the most important dance festival for Jingpo community or Singpo community or Kachin people. This is a national festival or this is a prime festival of Kachin people residing in Upper Burma. The word Spongyong, this word is related to a history. Spongyong is actually the forefather of the Singfos or the Kachins and the word Poi means festival and the word Manau means dance. Thus, Spongyong Manau Poi, it stands for dance festival in honor of Spongyong. In other words, Spongyong is a kind of ancestral remembering or ancestral worshipping. This festival it often it is often celebrated between 12th to 15th February though 14 February is often a common day of celebration. This festival is primarily organized to display the varied and exuberant and affluent culture, customs and exotic flora and fauna of vast Ornachal Pradesh in India, in Myanmar. This festival is also celebrated in different ways. Apart from that, through this Spongyong Manau Poi, the people or the organizer, they try to preserve, protect and promote the age-old cultural heritage of Singfo community. If you talk about the dress worn by Singfo men and women, then the Singfo men they basically wear woven checker pattern lungi that is called Haithung of black and green color lined with red, yellow and white yarn and shirt. Shirt is called Samtong and bag. Bag is called Khak and a turban. Turban is called Khuk Hok or Bunfan and the Singpo women traditionally wear colorful joy or pipa tops and sinket wrapper skirt and men mockering hat fu gag around the neck nungot waist wrapper and batang in their lower legs according to kachin mythology manau was first performed by nut nut means spirits and birds spirits and birds they were the first who had celebrated manau the nut or the spirits uh, 
Actually, they had invited living creatures from land to participate in the Manao dance in heaven. Then only birds have participated. Afterward, birds came down to land and they taught human how to dance Manao dance. This is as the legend goes. If we talk about another folk tale, there were nine suns appeared on earth. Humans were suffered a lot from that incident. Then they decided to send birds to heaven for mercy. Birds were performed Manao dance and sang for nap or the spirits and they were pleased by their performance and they let them dance Manao dance on earth. Later, men have emulated the dance from birds and they started dance Manao to worship not or spirits. Manao was called after the proverb Masao Nao Ning San Jao, which means heaven and above. If you talk about in 1947, then in 1947, a Manao was held to celebrate the end of Japanese occupation in Upper Burma and following independence, the Burmese government helped provide finances for the Michina Manao annually on Kachin Day up until 1958. Actually, Manao dance is celebrated only on the five most important occasions number one it is performed or it is celebrated when the community defeats other co community in war or when they embrace victory and second when they gather the clans to meet and settle accounts and make plans for the future. Third, they want to commemorate the death of an elder, then this Manao dance is performed. And fourth is for a housewarming and then fifth is to bring good fortune to new farmlands and cultivations. Broadly speaking, there are originally 14 types of Manao. They are Sut Manao, Kumran Manao, Ningthan Manao, Padang Manao, Ju Manao, Tingram Manao, Ningso Manao, Kumrum Manao, Noshot Manao, Tingthang Manao, Dip Manao, Roidu Kaput Manao, Kingdu Tap Manao, Sa Dip Top Manao. At last, I want to uh, beg your pardon for any kind of pronunciation mistake or any kind of uh, wrong information that I have given in this video. If I am wrong, please correct me. I am ever ready to embrace it. Thank you so much.